Today in this video, we're going to be growing plants in tap water versus reverse osmosis water to see if there's any difference in plant growth. And for this experiment, what we're going to be using is lettuce, and we're going to be growing in these containers. And all these containers are, are just some hand wipes. These were empty containers I brought home from work. And you can see here, this is what the top looked like. You pull the wipes out through the center. And it just so happens that that center hole there, if you cut it out like this, the net pots that I'm using, which are these right here, fit perfectly in that hole. So if I take this container here, you can see that the net pot fits in there, but not only do they fit in the hole, they also fit so perfectly that when you push down on them like this, the rest of the way, they actually snap into place and are a snug fit. You can see they don't even come out. I mean, it doesn't get any more perfect than that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up some nutrient solution in both the types of water, which the tap water is unfiltered, chlorinated, and the reverse osmosis water is zero TDS because it's RODI, which is deionized water. All right, so I've got my first bucket set up here. This was the easiest one because it's the tap water one. Uh, you can see here I got my net pot in there nice and secure, and the bottom portion, about the first quarter inch, is submersed in the water. And this is uh, almost one full gallon of water in here, and this is gonna be more than enough for 30 days to grow a head of lettuce. And I'm using, just for reference, this is the uh, Flora Micro, Flora Grow, Flora Bloom General Hydroponics Nutrient Solution Series. And I'm gonna be using the, or I am using the one teaspoon per gallon general purpose mix. And I am going to have to pH the reverse osmosis water once I get that finished. So. Uh, whatever the pH is of this one here, once I test it, I'm going to let it settle for a little bit and I'll test it and I'll match the pH on this one over here. So once I do that, I'm going to get it set up, get it under the light, and then we'll come back in 30 days and see what happens. Oh, oh and I almost forgot. Wait, wait, wait. We're not leaving yet. There's two things here. One is I realized that the General Hydroponics Nutrient Solution Trio is for... Uh, is mainly for a reverse osmosis water, so it should have zero TDS to begin with. That's kind of the point of this experiment. We're testing to see what happens if you have an increased amount of TDS. And just for reference, uh, my tap water is about 140 parts per million to begin with. The other thing is, is I know that uh, this experiment is only using two plants, and by no means does that qualify as scientific. Yes, I understand this, but lettuce tends to grow pretty well under different conditions and um, we shouldn't see too much of a variance. That's my initial guess. However, uh, we are going to do this experiment again and we're gonna be doing it with pepper plants. Okay, see you in 30 days. Okay, it's been about three weeks now and I kinda of wanted to make this little observation here to show that you can see this head of lettuce is clearly smaller than this head of lettuce. Now I'm not gonna tell you which container is which just yet, we're gonna go over that at the end of the video. But what I am going to say is that I'm pretty sure the reason why this one isn't growing as well or as fast is because there's a pH difference. So I, I'm pretty sure this one, if I had to guess, is a lower pH. This is the same kind of growth I saw as far as the rate and the size that I saw with uh, the last time I did a pH test between three different heads of lettuce. Actually, if you haven't seen that video, it's going to be right up here and click that link or at the end of this video. So anyways, um, actually growing these under the QG LED light strips, these are the alternate versions. I did another video on that, like up here if you're interested in those. Kind of expensive, but I really like them. Okay, so we're back. I am gonna be ending the experiment here and we're gonna be taking a look at a couple things. Uh, I'm gonna be taking a look at pH and the color of the solution. Uh, right off the bat, you can clearly see that the plant on the left is larger than the plant on the right. And the other, only other thing I really notice here is the color. So the plant on the right has a slightly more green color to it than the one on the left here. And obviously that's not a lighting thing, that's a nutrient thing. And that's to be expected because I'm pretty sure there's a pH difference, like I said before. And just so you know, the one on the right here is the RODI water, and the one on the left is the tap water. And this actually kind of surprised me. I wasn't really expecting this to happen, but we're going to take a look at why this is. Um, I don't really think I'm gonna take a weight test. I mean, weighing them just seems kind of pointless. Okay, so the plant grown in the tap water weighs 124 grams, and the plant grown in the RODI water weighs 93 grams. Okay, so now here's two leaves taken from the same position on both plants, tap water on the left, RODI on the right. You can see it's slightly more green. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste the one with uh, the tap water. 
Mm -hmm. Tastes like lettuce. Not noticing anything strange about it whatsoever. Tastes normal to me. Um, it's really good. I really like this type of lettuce. All right, now let's try the one that was grown in the RODI water. Nope. No difference whatsoever. They taste exactly the same. Couldn't even tell. All right, so let's take a look at the solution color and test the pH. Before we get on to the uh, color of the solution, the pH stuff, here's the roots from the RODI. You can clearly see in the cracking method that's totally normal. You got the air roots on there. That is not mold. Uh, so people keep commenting on stuff like this when you do cracky. They always say it's mold, it's not mold. That's air roots. Uh, and here's the one in the tap water. Pretty much the same except just a lot more dense. Roots are more dense. There's more air roots on there. Uh, as far as the nutrient level in here, it's about right there. It looks like to be about two to two and a half inches left in the bottom. And over here we have about, well, exactly the same. Not much difference there. All right, let's take a look at the pH and color. Okay, here's the color of the leftover solution with the RODI on the right and the tap water on the left. And you can see there's not a huge difference. If you look down from the top, you can see that the tap water is just slightly darker. And naturally you would think that is because it absorbed less nutrients, but obviously the plant grew larger, so that can't be the case. But we're gonna go ahead and test the pH of this now and see if the outcome is as what I expected. So this is my Apira uh, pH meter. I just calibrated this and we're gonna put it in the tap water one, see what we get. So you see the tap water one right now is at pH of 6.6, 6.7. Go ahead and check the one that is the RODI water. And we're about 6.3, so it is slightly more acidic, and that's kind of what I expected. However, I don't really think that slight difference in pH is a direct result of why the plants actually grew differently. There's another aspect to this which I completely know about, and I know some people were just wanting to comment down below about it. Anytime you use RODI water, you really need to use kale mag. I'm completely aware of this. So I will be using this eventually, but in the next experiment, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same exact test. I'm not gonna be adding kale mag, but I'm gonna be growing pepper plants. We're gonna see if we see the same trend, if we see a smaller plant in the RODI water. And then we're gonna do the experiment over again with lettuce, which will be the third episode. And we're gonna add the kale mag to it and see if it grows any differently. And to do that, I'm gonna be using my new um, Mars Hydro 2000 light, which I just did a video on. I'm going to be using that to grow uh, the new lettuce and probably peppers if we do it uh, for a fourth time. So that's it for this video. If you're interested in this, I'll leave a link in the description for the pH meter. It's very accurate. Thanks for watching.